Wana Wan's Park Ji Hoon's fan tells Cole to show the story of stealing her ex boyfriend's current girlfriend. Wana Wan's Park Ji Hoon's fan tells Cole to show the story of stealing her ex boyfriend's current girlfriend. Park Ji Hoon's fan told a hilarious story about making a new friend. She sent her story into Cole to show, and the DJs chose the story to be read live. The story read, Hello, I'm a woman in my early 20s that lives in Jiangsu. Please don't reveal my name. Also, I uploaded this story to a community and they all told me to say this story to Kultusho, so I'm here. The stories there are mine as well. As I say in the title, I stole my ex-boyfriend's current girlfriend. I really 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 like Park Ji Hoon, who is currently a 101 member. On my birthday, while my life was so hard and terrible, I didn't eat anything the entire day. I came back home at 10 pm, lied down, and cried. I lost strength after crying, poured water into cup ramen and turned on the TV while wiping my tears. And I saw June's boy and you've staged during Produce 101. Wow. I wondered where I've come from, and I regretted not seeing it until then. I tossed away the overcooked ramen and decided to hand my life over to Park Ji Hoon. Loyalty loyalty loyalty, my fangirl heart for June grew bigger and bigger, and I started getting obsessed with voting one of Produce 101's biggest thrills. I wanted to get as many votes as possible so I registered to vote with my friends' names, and for that, I needed the confirmation code. I had used all my friends, and the only one left was my ex. I had to stay here and my ex-boyfriend had to go to Seoul and he cried while saying wait for me. But I told him, what are you going to wait for? Go to Seoul and date pretty girls. What are you gonna wait for, are you crazy? And cried after I let him go. I'm a cold Jai E Ongdu woman. I gathered courage and texted him. I bravely texted, are you busy? And he responded, sorry. I got a girlfriend. I knew that would happen. Why did he bother saying he was going to wait? I wanted to curse him out, but I just thought of June. You're gonna get a confirmation number. Let me know what that is. My ex asked me what it was for, and I explained. I got the confirmation number, as precious as blood, and I was happy that I was going to be able to give Jim one more vote every day. A few days later, I got a call from my ex telling me that his current girlfriend saw that he had talked to me. Jujujuju done. I waited for his current girlfriend's call and thought about how I was going to apologize. And then I got a call. As soon as I picked up, I said, that not it. It's not like I have feelings for him or anything. Who did you pick with that confirmation code? What is this? I realized immediately that she was also a hardcore produce fan. Uh. How about you? I chose. Wink. I almost cried when I heard that. I felt like I had met a friend in this cold word. Ah, uh, Wink is June's nickname apostrophe 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 so cute apostrophe 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 she was also June's fan. Applause, she wasn't mad that her boyfriend had talked to me. She was also getting numbers and got to her boyfriends. But what the? She got angry because he had already given his number to someone else. After that, the two of us became friends. Every day, we shared new HQ photos of June, 
as well as videos where he went back and forth from Park Ji Hoonapa to Baby Wink. I couldn't go to a 101 event that I was chosen for, so I gave it to her, and she got me a laser keyring with June's face on it as thanks. We kept meeting each other behind my ex's back. In the end, we finally got caught. My ex caught his girlfriend grinning while caught talking someone while she was hiding, and she cried as she confessed about me. He was angry and asked her if she was crazy, and she cried as she called me. I got furious when I heard that. I have a pretty bad temper. I called my ex immediately. Why are you getting mad at her even though nothing is her fault? I contacted her first and I also contacted you first, so why are you getting angry at her? Be angry to me. My ex broke up with his girlfriend. We were able to get the ticketing for the 101 fan concert on December 23rd. I was in Jai E. Ongdu and she was in Seoul so we were never able to meet in person, and we finally met for the first time in Pusan. I waited for her nervously while waiting for her at Pusan Citation. She looked for me as soon as she got off the train, and gave me a hug saying she had really wanted to see me. I was so shy I just said, ah. Neither of us were really familiar with Pusan, so the two of us went to see famous places, ate good food, and bought each other stuff. It was like we were on a date. At 3, we went to go line up for standing, and had to say goodbye to watch the concert. Wow. It was my first time seeing Jun, and he was so good looking I almost cried as soon as I saw him. Really apostrophe 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 Park Ji Hoon I can't let you be apostrophe 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 I even succeeded in getting an eye contact with Jun, I really did, and not imagining it. After the concert, I met with her again where we promised. Since we had to go our separate ways, we were looking up our transportation. I didn't want to just let her go because I thought I might break the train after seeing June for the first time. So I took her arm and said, hey. You have to go all the way back to Seoul. Do you wanna just stay here for one night? And she nodded. We got a room together drank beer, and talked all night about Jun being so cute and how sexy he was dancing using his neck and shoulder. Yes. It was really nice. We barely slept, but we packed up and said our goodbyes at Pusan Station. We promised to go to every 101 concert together. I'm so happy because I got such a good friend lol it kind of sounds like we were on a date. Lastly, June, I was so happy. I think I understood the meaning of people saying they want to see you even though they are looking at you. I'm so proud to be your fan and I'm going to go to your dinner show party. I love you so much. I hope you are happy today, too. I love you. What an amazing way to make a new friend. <laughs>